Today I am um, doing a food demo um, and uh, like in a saw. When you go to the farmer's market, what can you create something like, you know, you, you just found, found this wonderful things and what can you do with it? Um, so I'm going to uh, demo a small, simple, um, uh, simple dish um, that everybody can do it. Um, so um, today I'm featuring a Mud College uh, farm, which is an organic uh, farm. Um, who, uh, is uh, there at the market uh, um, and uh, so they had uh, a baby leeks um, so a wonderful uh, thing to enjoy springs um, we have uh, some uh, uh, free range uh, 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 eggs and then the, the springtime is the best time to enjoy spring mix and spring mix is uh, um, you know they had two different kinds of spring mix um, so so this is um, I'm going to make a, a quick salad. I'm going to show you how to do with the eggs. Like you know, so I looked at the, the product they had in it. Looking so, what can we create? Uh, something simple, but something wonderful. So I'm going to start this uh, with. Uh, um, so I have some. Uh, first, we're going to do a basic uh, dressing. Um, so for in order to do that, I have a garlic here chopped. Uh, I am uh, just peeling and uh, chopping this garlic. Uh, um, so when you chop your garlic like this, uh, and then you're using lemon as an acid, so you, if you have vinegar, you can use vinegar, but uh, lemon is uh, what I prefer, so like, you know, so fresh lemon, um, uh, I'm going to squeeze a half of a lemon here. Uh, so that was one clove of garlic and then a half of a lemon. So I have that. So I'm going to make a vinaigrette. Um, so the basic vinaigrette is, uh, is you just add, the reason I put, uh, I put the, um, the, uh, the acid first is like, you know, so that will mild the uh, garlic. So now I have this and then I'm going to add olive oil, extra virgin olive oil to it. And then I'm gonna just gonna eyeball it. So this is all up to you. If you like it acidic, uh, like have more of uh, um, uh, lemon. If you like it uh, neutral, then have half and half. Like if you like it uh, um, a little bit more uh, olive oil, that's fine. So now I have a really nice uh, uh, vinaigrette here. So, and then I'm gonna do uh, if you like uh, sh uh, shallots or some sort of onion family, um, then you can add that too. You might be able to f uh, find farm in the, the farmer's market um, uh, leeks or like uh, the leeks they have there, but like in you know, a chives, if you like chives, you can add that too. If you like, uh, this is uh, how you would, uh, how you would, uh, get that uh, uh, vinaigrette done. So you have the vinaigrette ready. So, and then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix a salad. We have two kinds of salad. Uh, one is, uh, uh, so I'm gonna take a, uh, so I have this uh, bacilla mix, which has a, uh, which has a nice uh, Asian uh, mustard, which is, which is, uh, has a little peppery. So the best thing about these, uh, um, these mix is like, you know, they all have a different uh, quality. Some are peppery, some are sweet, some are, um, so the, these are the, like, you know, that's why I love these uh, spring mix. So the mix here, um, so what we're gonna do is, well, since we are utilizing this uh, baby leek, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna char this uh, real quick. So just turn the stove on on high, make sure your pan is really, really hot. So your cast iron is really hot, and all you're trying to do is, Put that in uh, without any oil or anything. So all you're doing is charring that as much as possible. So um, while that's charring, um, so it's gonna get nice char uh, flavor. And then so, so it's, it's, since uh, since it is uh, it is a, a tender uh, leek, so it won't be too fibrous. And then when you cut it against the grain, it'll be great. Like so, all you have is is a char green there. Um, so we have mix here, um, ready to go, and then we have already have a dressing ready to go. So what we're going to do now is uh, do a little garnishes. So I had a little bit of it, like, you know, there will be some uh, tomatoes uh, at the market, so you can get uh, 
these little cherry tomatoes uh, um, and uh, so I can have that so I hard boiled it, it soft boiled the eggs like you know so these uh, eggs to these uh, I soft boiled them so and I had a little bit of feta cheese in here that uh, something I like uh, so um, so I'm gonna uh, so if you look at it now like you know, it's getting that nice caramel color like you know so it's a uh, uh, char color so like, you know so, and that that's gonna give you this barbecue kind of a flavor which is great uh, so we have that um, and then I had a little bit of a purple cabbage so this I as a chef I like uh, colorful uh, plates so. So I'm just going to uh, give a little bit of a color there for the salad um, and then um, I have some sourdough bread, I'm going to just toast it real quick. Uh, so you have the full uh, ray of what you want to do. So we have this, so the dressing now is, we have a dressing ready, so do, do not overdress it, but make sure that you have enough to flavor your uh, flavor your um, salad. So what I do is I just put a little bit first and then uh, and then toss it around and uh, so just toss it around gently and then just to make sure that you have uh, a nice uh, salad mix so you can add a little bit more because you think like you know so it all depends on how much you want to eat so like you know you have a nice so uh, if you notice that I did not put any salt because salt is gonna wilt your salad. Like you, you, you want to put the salt at the last minute. So, so I have this here, a beautiful, delicate mix, and then, um, and then I have some uh, nice uh, cherry tomatoes here. And uh, if you look at it there, um, and then so I have some purple cabbage. Um, and then, um, and then I'm going to take that uh, charred, uh, charred leeks like this, turn off the uh, heat at this point, and so it has a, like the aroma right now, it's just wonderful. So because you didn't put oil or anything like that, it won't uh, steam up, so you're just going to cut it against the grain. So the grain goes like this, you cut it against the grain, including uh, including the green part so the whole thing is gonna flavor your uh, whole salad like that so you have this and then uh, so you have the uh, soft boiled eggs that you're gonna uh, put that in there and so this is going to give you uh, and then if you like feta cheese so you can just add a little bit of feta cheese on top um, and then, uh, so also, I just toasted a toast, lucky now, so you have a nice uh, local butter, uh, these are Amish butter, so you can just, like, you know, do toast, and then, uh, and then uh, at the market, you will see some of the jellies, uh, um, local jellies, like that uh, farmers make, um, so you can, this is a, um, um, elderberry, um, maple, uh, so so you can just do a nice uh, lather of this and then uh, voila, your uh, beautiful salad is ready to go. Um, and um, so this is simple but it's just really uh, flavorful and this is to me is the joy of spring. Happy spring everybody. Thank you for watching this.